just in response, you, you, I, I watched most of the State of the Union. I did fall asleep during it, I confess. <laughs> But you know, I got three kids, five and under. So a lot of times, by the time it gets past nine, we're we're a little we're a little tired. But uh, the striking thing is, is you know, we've got a lot of problems um, in this country, and that's obviously something you got to deal with. But it's striking that so many of these problems have been created by Biden and his administration since he's become president. I mean, think about gas. People are chafing at the pump because you've had 40, 50 percent increase in the price of gas. Well, why is that? Uh, because they shut down the Keystone Pipeline, said no, no uh, oil from Anwar, nothing in federal lands. So consequently, you're importing more from countries like Russia. So that's bad for consumers because they're paying higher, but then it's also bad for our national security because that's effectively the fuel that is giving Putin the ability to do what he's doing. So we were energy independent, and we should be energy independent, and we would be energy independent if it was not for those really misguided policies that have been done um, over, the last, over the last year. You look to see about inflation. It's a huge problem, and it's much higher than seven or seven and a half percent when you look at things that, that really matter. Gas is much higher, food is higher than seven percent up, you look at construction costs, building homes and all this, a huge increase in materials uh, to be able to do that. And the question is, is, is why is that? Well, one thing that's facilitated it is they've printed trillions and trillions of dollars. And the solution, we're told, is to print trillions and trillions more? No, that will exacerbate the problem. You look at some of the problems with the supply chain. We have these ships sitting there. You know, you have restrictions that have been imposed over the last year or two uh, that have stopped. We in Florida have been part of the solution. You know, we're going to have a great announcement uh, today. We'll come out and we'll make a. Uh, uh, we'll probably do something publicly about it sometime this week, where we're bringing companies from the Long Beach port to Florida. 